So today I thought I'd just show people what's uh, happening with the cicadas in, uh, here in Arlington, Virginia. Um, I expect you can hear them. You can probably hear the happy birds too. We're enjoying eating them. I've sprayed my trees with surround to see if that would help. It's a kale and clay. It just makes it unpleasant for them to walk on supposedly or reduce their interest in them. But uh, as you can see, here's a Pair. Well, you can just see them all kind of lined up in there. Um, you can see the branches on the top are already uh, breaking. When they uh, when they dig in, they really weaken the wood and they uh, snap pretty readily. Um, so then, if I uh, get low and see if this works, you hear them all. Getting annoyed. Get out of here. Anyway, here's some. You can see them uh, laying eggs in the wood. Um, there's a one here. You can see, hopefully. Um, you can see that. Hard to get a good picture of this, but uh, I'm gonna take off. But. You can see the trenches in the bottom of that branch, so they're digging in and laying eggs. And uh, I'm up in there. So a lot of the smaller wood here, here's a couple more. See that diagonal? I got it sort of with the light behind it going down into the wood. There you can kind of see it angled backwards. So they're digging in. Anyway, that's what uh, happens when the cicadas come to town. I did put some nets, about quarter inch netting, um, actually stretched out a little more than that, onto my per couple persimmons I particularly wanted to protect. They just went flying off. They are getting in, they are not quite destroying them. Uh, here's a apricot I showed off earlier this year. I'm very proudly how uh, beautifully it was doing, um, having been grafted just last year. But as you can see, um, the branches are all weakened now where they've dug in and they often literally, um, if you grab them, they'll just crack. They just... So it's hard to show where they've cut in, but all along where they dig in, it weakens and then just like that. It surprised me because this is new wood, but anyway, a lot of it's backlit. So, and you can see here, um, right there, digging in. And that's on uh, probably close to half inch. So, there was a, a lot of people said they would bother pencil thick, and uh, they did not seem to get the memo. But anyway, um, it's a wonderful thing of nature and all of that, but boy, it's going to be hard on the trees. So I think in about three weeks when they're gone, and you know, I'm hoping I'm not going to see nearly as much damage as I'm seeing every day, but when they're gone, I'm just going to go back and prune these back uh, as far as I need to to get rid of most of the damaged wood. There's no, no prune on this this year, so not a big loss. Some of my other small trees. I have very small trees grafted to very dwarfing rootstock um, and uh, unfortunately like these uh, apples here will probably never never get to mature. They're just probably gonna lose all those branches. There's a nasty little blighter digging in there. So and there and there and everywhere. Um, Surround did not seem to help, maybe if I had more trees and uh, or they were selecting from others. But with all the large trees in the neighborhood and uh, such a heavy amount of cicadas, there's just so many. It's hard to imagine, uh, you know, being more in this, but they're just everywhere in the trees. And, uh, if I have to look under most of these branches, you'll just see it's, uh, it's hard to unpack that. I'm not sure if you can see it. Here, but. All this is just cut up. Um, 
And again, just snaps where the wood is. Again, you can see the, the black and desiccated where they've dug in. It's amazing how deep they go. I'll, I'll try and do a little cross section on this uh, to show you what that looks like. They just go in, tear along, and then inject down really almost all the way to the, the core on these smaller branches. So you can see why they, once that damage sits for a day and the branches weakens, you can see why they just snap off. So anyway, it's kind of a heartbreaker, but it's what happens and it was, you know, I kind of knew it would happen a little worse than I thought, but uh, we'll, we'll see what everything looks like once we prune it back and it regrows and hopefully enough time to get some fruit spurs on these for next year.